Good day, here are the top stories of the Manila Times this first day, March 24, 2022. Philippine social media has exploded with support for presidential election favorite Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., who continues to dominate major pre-election surveys. False and misleading claims have flooded Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter in the lead-up to the May 9 polls, pounding Filipinos with a relentless barrage of propaganda on platforms where they rank among the heaviest users in the world. Voter surveys show the son and namesake of the country's former leader heading toward a landslide victory, the endgame of a decades-long, well-funded effort to return the family to the presidential palace they fled in disgrace in 1986. Critics and opponents accuse Marcos Jr. and his supporters of trying to portray his father's two-decade rule as a golden age of peace and prosperity while washing human rights abuses and the plundering of state coffers. But the effort to make over the family's image appears to be translating into votes among the largely young electorate and those nostalgic for the Marcus years. The Department of Budget and Management, or DBM, said on Wednesday that the national government has only three months worth of excess revenues to finance the 500 monthly aid that President Rodrigo Duterte has ordered to be distributed among unconditional cash transfer or UCT beneficiaries. DBM officer in charge and undersecretary Tina Rose Maricanda affirmed during the Lagi Handa briefing what Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez III said that the government can only fund the UCT with dividends remitted by government owned and controlled corporations or GOCCs and collected fuel value added tax or VAT. With the UCT recipients estimated at 13 million, Kanda said the government needs to raise 20 billion pesos for three months worth of subsidy. She added that once the Bureau of Treasury certified the availability of funds, the money will be released to the Department of Social Welfare and Development for disbursement to beneficiaries. Vice Presidential Candidate and Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio on Wednesday rejected initiatives by some of her supporters to push for her tandem with presidential hopeful Vice President Maria Leonor Leni Robredo. In a video message posted on her Facebook page, Duterte Garbio said she will stick to her running mate, presidential candidate Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Marcos and Duterte Garbio comprise the so-called BBM Sara Unity and they have been the front runners in the presidential and vice presidential surveys respectively. Duterte Carpio's remark came following the recent endorsement of Albay 2nd District Representative Jose Maria Clemente Joy Salceda, Cagayan de Oro 2nd District Representative Rufus Rodriguez, and Zamboanga City Mayor Maria Isabel Climaco Salazar of Aerobredo Sara Tandem through their so-called Rosa movement. The National Press Club or NPC on Wednesday filed a petition for mandamos before the Supreme Court seeking to compel the Commission on Elections or COMELEC to make transparent its preparations for the May 9 national elections. A writ of mandamos is a directive from a court to an inferior government official or agency ordering it to so properly fulfill its official duties or correct an abuse of discretion. In a 35-page petition, the NPC along with the Gorgon's Brotherhood and Automated Election System Watch told the High Court that the poll body has demonstrated lack of sincerity in its preparations for the elections. The petitioners also sought the implementation of the digital signature, disclosure of critical information, and access to inspect the reported 5.2 million defective ballots, viewing of the preparation and testing of the vote counting machines, and the presentation of transmission, diagram, or data communications network architecture, and all equipment that will be used to transmit election results.
The Banco Central ng Pilipinas or BSP risks losing control of inflation if it continues to delay the tightening of its monetary policy. Analyst Nicolas Antonio Mapa warned. Mapa, ING Bank Manila senior economist, said in a commentary released on Wednesday that despite rate hikes by the world's most important central banks, with promises for more to come and a potential and likely breach of the country's inflation target in 2022 and 2023, BSP Governor Benjamin Diokno remains dovish on monetary policy. He emphasized Diokno's preference for waiting until the second half of the year to raise the Banco Central's already record low interest rates. While the BSP chief has advocated for guiding policy based on how data evolves in the next months, he said the repercussions of the ongoing crisis in Eastern Europe has already pushed inflation estimates substantially higher, with ING now forecasting 4.3% inflation this year. The ING bank analyst said the Philippines has already felt the impact of rising commodity prices in terms of a bigger trade deficit. World number one Ashley Barty stunned the tennis world Wednesday by announcing her early retirement from the sport at the age of just 25. Barty dropped the bombshell weeks after becoming the first homegrown champion of the Australian Open in 44 years, joining tennis royalty's most exclusive club with a Grand Slam crown on three different surfaces. In the tearful video message with her close friend and former doubles partner Casey Delacqua, Barty said she was thankful for everything this sport has given her. Barty has been world number one for more than two years and retires after winning three Grand Slam single titles and the French Open in 2019, Wimbledon in 2021, and the Australian Open this year. The Times editorial talks about the bike infrastructure as a traffic solution and not an obstacle. For the full version, read the opinion section on print and its digital version or listen to the voice of the Times. The columnists feature on page 1 are Antonio Contreras and Ian Macabenta. Contreras says Marcos Jr. chose the debates by being absent while Macabenta writes about the race against the clock as the campaign enters a new phase. For more news and information, read the Manila Times, subscribe to us Digital Edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and keep up with the Times. This is Christian Cromaghanoy reporting.